I'm Lauren Allred. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm a singer. Um, one of my favorite movies ever was The Greatest Showman. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite songs in the movie is the song Never Enough. And then I found out, actually, the girl who sings the song in the movie wasn't singing the song. It was actually Lauren's vocal. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. That's... Growing up, music's always been a really big part of my life. My parents are both music teachers, and I always loved to sing, and I would sing in my room for hours and hours and hours, but I was too shy to do it in public. <laughs> when I was around 24, I had been waitressing for a while, and then I met the songwriters for the movie The Greatest Showman. They said, you know, we have a song, Never Enough. Can you come in and sing the demo for it? So they can show it to whoever they want to sing it eventually. I went into the studio and I sang the song, and then they said, we're thinking about having the actress lip sync to your vocal. And I just thought, oh my gosh. I was so excited to just have my voice be in the film. I felt so proud because, you know, people were hearing my voice and that's what I had dreamed of. But people didn't know that I had sung the song in the movie. So when they heard me singing, people would say, you sound just like the movie, wow. And it wasn't really until that moment that I thought, I need to just go for this. But I wasn't really ready for a stage like America's Got Talent. And so I decided to go on Britain's Got Talent to get my feet wet. Some of you guys have actually heard my voice, but you don't know my face. I sang the song Never Enough on The Greatest Showman. Oh my God! I went on that stage and I did the scariest thing for me. I knew this moment could be make or break it for me. It just felt so validating. It really was a dream come true. Lauren Allred, you are not in the final three. I did not win, but I faced my fear. And I was really, really proud of, of that. You know I was actually very starstruck. Oh, really? Yeah, for me, this is almost like being in a movie right now. I really think you should sing Never Enough. Let's do something unbelievable where everyone goes, oh my God. God, I've never heard that version before. Yeah. This version of Never Enough is brand new. I think it's a step up. I'm going to be testing my vocal range. I'm 34 years old, and I just felt like if I don't give this one more shot, shot yeah. and be fearless, then yeah. I might regret it. I have big dreams. I want to be on Broadway, put out my own albums. And I feel like if I just knock it out of the park tonight, then maybe those dreams can come true. I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment in Take my hand Will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you Never, never, never for me. 
I mean, that's amazing that such great talent is so not known and behind the scenes and so wonderful of you to bring it forward and introduce it to the world. I mean, how lucky are all of us right now that we got to witness this live right in front of our eyes. It was just absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Heidi. Thank you. Mel. Ooh. <laughs> I'm actually at a loss for words because that is just amazing what you can do. Thank I'm you so much. Away. Thank I'm blown you. away. That was honestly spectacular. And to have that moment almost taken away from you. Yeah. And no one knows it was you. And now you've got the guts to come back on this show and tell America, this is me, is so special. I really hope that America get behind yeah. you and give you the break that I genuinely believe that you deserve because you are an extraordinarily good artist. You know, there was, there was a while when I was more comfortable singing behind the scenes and I thought maybe that's what I was meant to do. And no, until never! No, <laughs> until no, now, no! You know, I'm ready and I'm here and thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Back. This is Heidi's team, Simon. I know, I'm just saying I welcome. I know, he's just very excited about everyone who's on my team. I said you're doing well. I know I am. You are. You're a little bit jealous. And I'm very excited. <laughs> this is Darcy Lynn, everyone. I was literally only 12. My name's Darcy Lynn. <laughs> when I stepped foot on the AGT stage for the first time, you made my heart melt. Melby giving me the golden buzzer. It was honestly one of the most incredible moments of my life, but winning was just like out of the question. The winner is Darcy Lee! It was incredible. It's kind of hard to put it into words. And now I've gotten to do so many awesome things. Darcy, Darcy Lynn and, and Friends Live. I remember seeing like J Lo's poster up in Vegas and then like mine right next to her, and I was like, that's not real. Like that is super cool. Heidi Klum, who is your draft pick? No, Go. no, yes. no, that's my golden buzzer. Seconds. I know this was your golden buzzer. No, I knew I should have picked her first. Now she's with me. And I thought you were friends, you two. I am your friend and I love you, but now this is game time, babe. Darcy Lynn is on my dream team because she is an absolutely incredible ventriloquist. Why do you want to be back here? Well, I've come back to show the new side of me. I'm now 19 and so it's like Darcy 2.0. Are you going to tell me? What are you going to do? I don't want to give it away. What yeah. is it? You just I can't don't wanna... tell you. <laughs> but why can't you not tell me? I'm known for my ventriloquism, but there is more to me than just a ventriloquist. Stand by, folks. America choosing me as one of their favorite acts to come back is a really big honor. I think it is a little pressuring, though. I feel like I have to like live up to what I did when I was 12. But I just don't want to be put into a box. And so for my performance tonight, I'm doing something different. I think people are going to be surprised. OK, here we go. Did you have a mentoring session with her? Yeah. She didn't tell me the song. She wasn't telling me what the surprise is. So I couldn't even give my two cents in, like, so. Wow. Oh, the moment you've all been waiting for, me. 
Okay, Petunia, this isn't all about you. And plus, I'm 19 now. I know. You're aging. I'm not. <laughs> I know, but I feel like I feel like I'm old enough to do this on my own now. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Yeah, I am. I feel like I've got the music in me. Ain't got no trouble in my life. No foolish dream to make me cry. Well, let life get me down. Come on, tell you. I'm gonna take it the way that I found it. I got the music in me. that you are absolutely fantastic. I'm glad you didn't abandon Petunia all the way because yeah. this is how we fell in love with I you. I felt bad for her. I'm so happy also that you're back here on our stage. Thank you. Mel, what did you think? Your beauty is you and Petula's, Petula's Petunia. voice, Petulia's voice and your voice. Petunia. You, you know who I mean. Petunia. Petu I can't say Petunia. Pe Petunia. Petunia. And Petunia, yeah. that's what captured America's hearts. But I almost loved the simplicity of what you were doing back then. And I just feel like the music and everything else overshadowed what you're so good at. I don't agree. I don't agree. You know what? Does it? I'm going to agree with Mel, and I'll tell you why. There are very few people in the world who can do what you do. The singing and the ventriloquism together is your, what I call USP, your unique selling point. And I think we were distracted away from what you do so brilliantly. The good news is, it's not down to us, it's down to the audience. Thank you. You took a really, really big risk in stepping away from Petunia. It's definitely different, but it's just a new part of me, and that's why I did it. Hello. 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 Okay, everyone, this is Ank Erdine from Mongolia, and yes. he has won Mongolia's Got Talent. <laughs> Heidi, your turn. Come to mommy. Uh oh. Oh, Whoa. don't, Heidi. Whoa. He is good. Did you want this one? Yes, Simon? I did. He's amazing. Mongolia's got talent. The winner. How are you? I chose you because your voice is amazing, and because also you're a winner, and I like winning also. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a little bit nervous? Yeah. 
much. Yeah. So I think it's important to project because you have a star voice. I'm a teacher. That's in the right book. The book. I'm running a bad teacher. I'm going to be 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 a bad teacher. Did you mentor in Mongolian? I've been to Mongolia. I went That's to the not what I asked. I, I, no, I didn't. Okay, here we go. Ten seconds. Six, five seconds. And I got friends in low places where the whiskey drowns in the beer. Jesus, my blues away. Is that coming out of him? And I'll be I was day. not expecting that from Mongolia. <laughs> Blaming all my roots, I sure them boots. Ruined your bike top for you. Last one knew, you last one to show. I was the last one you thought you see there. And I saw the surprise. Fear in his eyes, and I took his glass of champagne. And I do said you say don't even make it through, but you never hear me complain. <laughs> I feel like Mel B. I'm confused. <laughs> Was he lip syncing? No, of course not. No, no one can lip sync on American. Were you lip syncing? No. Don't judge a book by its cover, Howie Mandel. Yeah. How would you even know this kind of music? How did you get into this kind of uh, music? It's called the internet. <laughs> You don't find this amazing? Yes. Of course. That's why but he is I, on my dream I'm not, team. I'm not surprised. This is exactly what this young man should be singing. Yee because to your that. tone is stunning. Absolutely yeah. stunning. I love this performance. Yes. Love. Thank you. What I would like to have seen is for the music just to stop and for you to do like an a cappella. Because I need to uh, hear this guy no, sing. No, no. Do you know next what? Round, Can I say something? Round. Maybe next time next you round. start a cappella. That was uh, my idea, Simon. Not now, it isn't. I think, and then I think, I think. I think. The track comes. You know what? It doesn't matter, it was brilliant. Thank you so much, you were amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Is this Sophie Darcy? This is contortion on steroids. Who's mentoring Sophie? Heidi. Oh my no! goodness! No! Sophie Darcy! That was my wow. that was my pick. Yes. That's a great choice. The first time we saw you, you were only 14 years old. Yes. How old are you now? I'm 22 now. Oh <laughs> my god, all grown up! My name's Sophie Darcy and I'm 14 years old. What is it you're gonna be doing for us today? I'll be doing hand bounce and contortion. I had discovered a YouTube video of a contortionist and thought it was really cool. I would watch these videos over and over until I got those moves just right. I just kept teaching myself at home and it became an obsession with me. <laughs> I was so young, I was so new to everything. What planet are you from? <laughs> I 
I've always watched America's Got Talent and never would have thought in a million years it would change the rest of my life. I've had so many doors open up for me since. I started a YouTube channel that has almost 10 million subscribers. I've even released my own music and guest starred on some TV shows. But when I found out I was chosen for Fantasy League, I was so honored. I felt like I had to make America proud. And being on Heidi's dream team, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello! Hi. I've been a fan of her since I first saw her. I mean, when you look at her on all her social media platforms, she's become, you know, really like a superstar. What is this? So Gorgeousness. These are my designs for bodysuits. You actually drew these? I drew these, yes. You're good. This time I'm really taking it to the next level in the sense of danger Ooh. and would you be surrounded like, by fire? That, you know? I mean, that could really be cool too. Yeah. So, let's smoke this place up. Okay, here we go. I want to show Heidi that she was right to pick me for her dream team. This time, I'm here to win. Listen, this is competitive, and I don't like to give my uh, fellow uh, mentors credit. But keep it coming. 
Go on. But if if tonight was my golden buzzer, I would use it on you. I definitely Thank would. Thank you. I think I'm going to have to agree with Howie because that looked very well rehearsed and slick. Thank well you done. so much. Thank you. Okay, so I felt actually quite emotional, Sophie, because I'm seeing you grow as an artist and have the guts to come back and compete again against some of the best acts in the world and actually get better. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I have a feeling this might be your year. Thank you so much. And because timing is everything, and I don't want anyone to kerfuffle this, as Mel would say, I will give you this golden buzzer no way. right now. My dreams come alive. But, you know, I push it for you because I love you and I believe in you and I think you're amazing. We started saying it back in 2020. I had this idea, what if we took gospel sound and we put it to everyday music? And we were like, boom, here you go, world. I loved everything about this. This was what we were looking for. Brilliant. I knew that we were on to something special. The act leaving the competition, sainted. When they told us we were going home, that was quite a blow for us. Some members of our group came home to eviction papers or being fired from a job. We could dwell with the losses and amongst the bad times, but crying versus laughing, right. some people like to, you know, that's, I like to laugh. And we want to go <laughs> to that part of life right. where we are triumphant. I was shocked when they didn't make it through to the finals. I wanted them on my team. Thank you, Simon. Mm -hmm. We love you. The first thing I said was, we've got to get you the best song in the world. And I thought, it has to be Purple Rain. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it, but I'm going to try. Five, six. I mean, I instantly begin to get visions. Like, I see it. Let's do it. We have this amazing opportunity because Satan is back. We back, yeah. baby. And we're ready to show America a different side of ourselves. Yes. So y'all know we have this thing with clearance and we need to get permission for a song. We have to prepare for the possibility that Purple Rain is just not going to clear. Yeah. It never clears. It never clears. Never, it never, never, clear. never, never. It doesn't clear. I'm not gonna let go of this. If you believe in this and you wanna do it, then I'm gonna try somehow make this happen. Hey, hold it, hold it. We need to prepare two different songs just in case it doesn't clear. It's the night before we're supposed to perform. We still don't have a final song. It's, yeah. I know y'all don't know what to expect because I damn near don't even know what to expect. Hold the front. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. We have an update. So Prince's estate has been gracious enough to make an exception and give you permission to perform Purple Rain. It's the 40th anniversary of Purple Rain. It's like, okay, we have to honor Prince, the legend. Back again, back again. And this is different from what we already did yesterday? Yes. yes. But we gotta do it as quickly as possible, folks. We do not have a lot of time. Simon fought for us. This is what we've been waiting for. 
The dream is to dream bigger. Yes. Yeah. You know, I know for a fact that that young man at the end of the table was up till midnight clearing that song. Thank you. We asked people on this show to step it up. You just stepped it up beyond. It was amazing. I'm so proud. Let me know. Mel. I really don't like you. I really don't. <laughs> That's it. They were brilliant! All right, all right, all right! Yeah. Simon knows what's up. I just connected with you from that first audition. Then we spoke on the phone. And I said, how would you feel about singing my favorite song of all time, Purple Rain? And I just heard this scream. Aww. And I thought, that's a yes. <laughs> I think Prince is the greatest artist of all time. And you said it was going to be good. It wasn't. It was incredible. 
Yeah. <laughs> it was honestly a moment I will never, ever, ever forget. And I really pray that this moment will change your lives. And I'm going to give you something from my heart. What does this mean to you right now? I remember being a kid rehearsing in the mirror, pretending that we were before crowds like this. <laughs> Never stop believing, always keep dreaming. You can do it, you can make it. Hello. I am so excited <laughs> for this performance that you're about to do. Thank you, Mel. But your voice is just incredible. But the story is what gets me. Like, it makes me fall in love with you even more. My entire life, I've struggled with self-acceptance. I've always had a passion for music and performing, but I hated the way that I look. This whole concept of the mask happened. I would masquerade my face, but I'd still be able to love what I do. But if could be America's Got Talent was the first time that I really felt validated. They just said they loved me. They loved my voice. Then live shows came, and it kind of just crumbled a little bit. I had to perform from Australia, which was so hard. Going into the semifinals, Christina Ray! It was so heartbreaking. I think because I was on such a roll. I felt like I was finding myself through this show, and it just kind of just halted. Who is your next draft pick, Mel? I'm going with the emotion. Oh, I like this guy. Yes, Sheldon Riley. That's wow. One. That's a good He's one. He's really yes, good. He is. Oh my gosh, you look so, so good. Happy oh, for like me you. AGT completely changed my life. I was a grand finalist at the Eurovision Song Contest. I've appeared in Vogue, Rolling Stone, Billboard. And that's kind of why I wanted to come back as well. I think the whole world has seen me in these masks for years and years. Are you saying you, you want to I don't know. Well, this is what I want your help with, because I'm just like... I'd love to see your face. So if you feel like you want to maybe take it off halfway through or at the end. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to be excited to hear your voice. I'm glad you're anyway, excited. I'm nervous yes. as hell. <laughs> no, don't be nervous. I chose him because I think people will really identify with his struggles and what he's been through. I hope he takes his mask off. I've just spent so much time trying to visually be enough for people that maybe the talent that I have is enough. Yeah. 
and you did a very beautiful rendition with that song. I mean, you nailed it. You belted out. I loved it. Thank well you. Well done. Thank you, Heidi. I'm blown away. Howie. Yeah, I am blown away. I got to tell you, my soapbox in life is mental health. And the biggest hurdles that we have in life are the hurdles that we have yeah. inside ourselves. Not only did you step it up from anything you've ever done on AGT before, but I think you did something wonderful for the world. Yeah. You really did. Yeah. Thank you. I always felt with Sheldon, this was unfinished business. Mm -hmm. And your voice is so distinct. And you are a proper, what I would call, front man singer, you, you know? So congratulations and welcome back. Thank you so much. Best buddy Cody is back. And his wonderful <laughs> mom, <laughs> Tina. How are you both? We're good, thank you. Um, uh, Tina, his mum, played me a song he'd written, and I l loved this song. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And, uh, you know, you're going to hear, I think, a very, very different Cody from what we're used to. Good luck. <laughs> Just remember what I said, Cody. You've got to imagine you're number one in the charts right now. <gasps> and you are performing this record. You're allowed to mentor right up to I them. didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that we could go up on stage you and were, mentor. You didn't ask. <laughs> well... Ten seconds.
golden buzzer tonight and stolen one of your teams who were very happy to be on my team. So Cody, if I had that second buzzer, I would be buzzing it right now. Yes. I'd send you straight through to the final round. Oh my God. Well done, Cody, you're a legend. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. It's a different vibe that you're giving us and I'm liking it. Love the song, love you and that was Perfection. Thank you. <laughs> Howie, I also am upset that I don't have a golden buzzer tonight because I would want to steal you so badly. <laughs> and tonight to hear what you can write. I, I don't think there's going to be a problem with this audience choosing one of the five. I think that's already just made their choice right now. That was amazing. <laughs> you know, Cody, you continually surprise us in a positive way. For you to come back and write yes. a song and perform a song which sounds current yeah. and relevant. And you performed it with such passion. Um, it shows what a great, great, great artist and person you are. And I'm very proud to have you on my team. Thank you, Thank you so much. Hey everybody, this is a song which is gonna be a massive hit that we you on stage. We are 20 people over here. 30 people and yeah. one girl. Girl powers holding her own. Yeah. Yes. 
Simon, what did you think? What did I think? I think this was a step up. I think the fact that you put your title on the line to come back to try and win this says so much about you because this was world class. The audience is going to vote. Only six acts go through tonight. Good luck. Oh my God. I do. Simon? Well, that was genius. No, really, because weirdly, it made you realize how difficult this is. It did. It, it, no, did. it genuinely did, you know, because sometimes you don't want to see everything. But actually, by seeing everything, it made it even funnier. Shadow Aces out of the shadow. And you know, what's great about your act is, you know, whether you're older or if you've got the mentality of an eight-year-old, Mel, for instance. I mean, do you <laughs> <laughs> did you like him? Can I just say, I could not stop laughing. You Same. brought me so much joy. Yes. Just bashing Howie's head over and over. I loved it. I absolutely I mean, it loved it. Thank you so much. I mean, you've had 230 million clicks online before. I think you will double it with this performance. This was better. The song choices were genius. Yes. Everything was genius. I want to wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, buddy. Hello, ladies. Hi. How are you? Good. So good. How are y'all? I'm so excited that you're here tonight. Before coming to AGT, there was a lot of no's and a lot of closed doors and... A lot. A lot. A and whole lot. We've been trying to break into Nashville for the last couple of years. It's been kind of hard when I think country music doesn't always look like us. Well, you can have him too. Somebody get out your seat tonight! Huh? You may have just broken down the door with that performance, trust me. We look up and we hear Simon counting down. And Five, when we see four, three, two, two, one. It, 
It felt like the world made sense. It felt like America got us. Things are going to go very well for Chapel Hill. I remember having that hope that, like, we really could win. Chapel you made the AGT final! We decided to do our original song, American Pride. But singing a song that meant so much to us, the walls had come down. We just left our hearts out there. We just cried throughout the entire performance. Some of the vocals were off, and maybe because you were emotional and because there was a lot of pressure. It, it, was, a, it was hard. It was hard to have to face that you won't be winning at all. As Soon as we found out that there was going to be a fantasy league, we were like, we don't want to get anybody but Simon. <gasps> hello. Ah! Oh, hello. <laughs> Simon is the ultimate group mentor. If you want my honest opinion, uh -huh. I think you should redo American Pride properly. Oh, wow. OK. Mm. It's such a risk because if the world has seen you fall on your face once, do you really want to They're not try it again? It's <laughs> so, so good. Song. This song's a hit. Mm. It really, really is a hit. And, you know, I, I think the song needs a big ending. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, people have got to listen to the lyric of that song. America chose you for a reason. To be back and be on your dream team is everything to us, and we're excited to give this song another another, another chance. Time. Okay, here we go. Grab your seats, please. We feel like this is our moment of redemption. Simon is the secret sauce that's gonna bring this all the way to the mm -hmm. top. God, I feel very nervous. Good. That means you care. I Good. do care. I really Good. do care. Five seconds, four, three, two. I grew up in America at a time that wasn't so bad. We were raised out in steep holler, did the best with what we had. We had it all, loving neighbors, land, and freedom. And that's what built me in my American pride. So I know that we can do this. Hold hands and step aside. Let love pour out between us. Move the hate, let's just try. and this land and you'll ride for freedom and I know that we can do this hold hands and step aside let love pour out between us move the hate and let's just try I believe we'll make a difference on it be one person at a time Yep.
You are a fan favorite. You're one of my personal favorites. Love you, girls. I also love the way you look today. I know that he had nothing to do with that. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. This tonight was about redemption. And you know what? You absolutely nailed it. I've got to know the ladies pretty well. And I can tell you this, they are sincere. They've had not an easy time getting the Nashville to get behind them. But you've never given up. I just want to say thank you so much for, for seeing us and believing in us and believing in us enough for us to come back and do it again. And we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I, I really think, I really pray that the audience get behind you and put you through to the next round thank because you. you deserve it. Thank you so much. Wow, that was incredible. 